What's up guys, welcome back. So today we've got a Naruto one. We are going to be drawing Naruto Sage Six Paths. Right, so I'm on a wide page. Just wanted to fit in like that steel bar and some of the orbs that are floating around him. So we're gonna start with his right eye. So find your middle, we're just, I'm above the halfway line across here, just a bit above. And we're gonna start with his right eyelid. Ba, ba, ba. So, up this way. Curve it around. Like so. This comes down to a bit of a point down here. And then just thicken it up along the back. That's the kind of shape we're going for. And then his bottom eyelid just down here comes across just there. Nearly touches the inside line just there. And then his iris. Circle in there. And then we have those eyes, so sage and Kurama eyes, so this might be awkward with Sharpie, but we do a line straight down like so first, and then a sort of a rectangular line coming across here. You want a sharp line and then a rectangular line, like so. Right, so we come over eye distance over to the other side. And we're going to curve a line over like this. Again, pretty much the same type of thing. This one comes down to a point just here and then thicken it up. Like so. Then that bottom eyelid. So just down from there, and then across. And then his iris circle, the top of it's kind of cut off by his eyelid. Just there, and then we used to do a thin Kurama line. And then a rectangle going across. Like so. Okay, so his eyebrows, so we've one end of the eyebrow there, the other end kind of here. And these go up underneath his headband. So they go right across his eye, the top of his eye just here and come up and stop about here because they go underneath that headband of his. And then the bottom half is pointy and then we go up this way, like so. And then pretty much the same thing over here. Go up underneath the headband, come down across his eyelid, into there. The warriors are not exactly the same on both sides. They're not the same in the picture I'm drawn from. So if you want, you can draw that headband line coming across here. So. And we can see some sideburns just coming down from that, just here, and a sideburn coming down from there. And then if you want, you can do the shape for the face. So we'll go down and around like this. And the chin just down there. It's kind of like a, a sort of a U shape. 
And then his nose, just in there. His nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. And then his mouth, so he's got a big smile. So it's coming down across like so. So draw it first like it's closed. And then we'll open it up, just to add in these lines on the sides and the bottom lip. Like this. And then we're gonna add teeth inside here. So just a line coming across for teeth. You don't have to be too detailed, just come across like so. You might have a line just for his nose in here and one for his brow coming in, just there like that. And then a line for his bottom lip, just here. And then you'll notice the bottom lip line is halfway between the nose and the chin, just this line here. And then he's got uh, dark black sections on his cheek. So there's three of them. So we go one, two, three. And then we draw those across. One, two, like so. Like this, and then one, two, three. They kind of curve, follow the curvature of his cheek. And then this comes across, this comes across, this one comes across towards its cheek, just there. And they're dark black inside. Okay, so his headband, the rest of it. So we're gonna go up and around like this. Up to about here. And this side will do the same sort of thing, like so. And this meets hair, so of course he's like all on fire and you know the energy and stuff. So these hair spikes go around. They meet like two big long sort of horn style ones that are here. So maybe we should do those first. So this one comes like across like so, and then we have a long one coming up here, just like this. Maybe something similar on this side, so like that. And then even longer ones again. So this comes up all the way to there right to the top of my page and that comes down and then these come up to there and then it goes back down and then we have all hair spikes around it so the classic Naruto hair just going around then just regular old hair spikes coming up and down. And then going behind these devil horns that he has. You already call them devil horns, I guess, but that's what they kind of look like. He has integrated the demon within. Okay, so he has the spiral symbol just in here. So you start with a spiral coming around like so and add a tail. You could leave it as a single line or you can double it up. So you can go back around again. And then you add the beak out here and then we bring it back under the other side. And I might be 
able to do it with the Sharpie, but yeah, like so. And then we have another triangle line inside there. So Sharpie lines actually lay down quite a thick line. So if you're doing it with pencil, it'll be a lot easier. And like a fine liner either. So around that then we have his his metal headband. So just above his eye here, we'll go bring it around. Cross like so. Back up there. And then the top will go around. And we can't see all of that side of it or all of this side of it. And then three bolts. Like so. So ears. Diagonal down, down, back in, around. And under into here. Just across from that first cheek mark of his. Bones and ligaments inside his ear. You can just do like a letter J. It's the easiest. Or you can add more details, it's up to you. Curve it down on this side as well, and inside ear lines. One there, one there. <laughs> so his ninja headband is coming off the side, coming out this way. So we're gonna fire it up this way. Curves all along here. Comes back. Spiking like that, and then another one curving this way. It's got all these energy sort of spikes coming off it, like so. Right, so as we can see, a bit more hair coming down from behind his head. So just add two spikes here on each side, just there, and then. So he's got his long jacket on. So he's got a big collar. So curves around like so on that side. And then so this one curves. This one actually doesn't curve. This one just kind of sticks out just there. And that means this one should come down all the way like so and then this one will come down all the way to there and then we can see his neck inside just a line there and like a tiny line like here and maybe the neck of his uniform it's just black here comes across there comes across there the other side of it there and then the inside of his coat so just comes in like so and then a line down there the outside of his collar curve line that way his shoulder then coming down off the page might get a bump or two for folds for clothes but not too many we have some folds for the inside lovers, like armpit, just in here. A couple like this. And then we've got a symbol on his shoulder and then three symbols on his chest. I think there's actually, there's a few more, but we can only see three. So we do a curve line with a spike, like that. It's nearly a full circle, except when you get to here, you spike out. So it's like you're you're trying to draw a full circle, but you just miss this part and you go back into there. It's like the number nine. Circles in there. And then this symbol is like concentric circles, so 
this is a circle. Duh. <laughs> and then we do another circle around it. This is a circle too. <laughs> and then we go around again. Except this one has a box on the edge. Just here. And then we go back around the other side. Like so. Okay. So his hand is holding a big bar. Big metal bar. So his hand. So take your time with hands. They're like as they're as hard as faces, really. Artists would usually charge extra for hands. Well, back in the Renaissance anyway. So We'll do the outside edge of his jacket first before we deal with the hand, because I'm avoiding the hand, because I don't want to do it. <laughs> so this comes down like this. So we have an outside edge line. Just there. And then... Uh, so, okay, we'll do the bar. So the line... For the bar, so his hand is like here. So it's like a good bit out, and it's across from, so it's, it lines up underneath this part of his arm, all the way over here, right? That's where his finger that touches the bar is. And then the bar, we'll draw that first, runs off this way. So, okay, so then, that means, so his finger's here, like that, okay, so his middle finger, so we can see three of them and then his index, so we'll do three, one, so we're just going to do these three bumps, two, three. So this is his middle finger, ring finger, little finger. And then the bar will continue from his little finger, just down here. Okay, so we'll do these first. So we'll do a line here, we'll bump it around. like so and then back in and then he has like a fingernail just there and then the next one so we come like so bring it down Goes down and around the bottom up, up to here, and back into there. And then a fingernail. And then the last one of these three. There's still a thumb and an index finger to go as well. Like that. So his index finger is just here. So it's like it's it's lifted up off the bar. So he's kind of balancing it with these three fingers and it's on his shoulder. So the weight of it is going into these fingers. So this one isn't being used. So this comes up. So, comes around, down, like so, back up into there, and a bump. 
Ooh. And then index finger nail. Like so. So then his thumb is just here. So the curves, just like so. And then it comes around for his glove. And then it comes down there for the other side of his hand. And then we have a couple of bumping lines just here. One, two. So then our bar runs through his thumb, or just through the back of his thumb. Just say here. Okay, through here, jump over these fingers. If there's a gap, draw a line and then it runs down and off the rest of the page like so and his index sorry I missed that line there and that line there <clears throat> so the inside of his hand so he's got like a glove on that comes up halfway to his hand so that comes up this way and then it comes down and goes off my page just down the bottom there. So I have to join this hand up to his body, okay? So his shoulder line is here. With another line coming down here for his bicep. These are all folded around his muscles because it's a piece of clothing and then more fold lines. And his sleeve is like ripped off here. And that means his arm is gonna go in this way. So we have a line for his wrist and then his arm will go in there. And then the cut off section just there. Like so. So now the rest of that bar travels off behind him. So, and then the other side, okay, here, and then go across to there. Okay, now we gotta do those orbs. So, if you have a circular object to draw around, that would really help you. Um, it would help me as well, but I don't think I have something the right size. So, I'm just gonna... Am I, am I just gonna? Yeah, okay. So there's one here. So one. Another one up here. A compass would work well for this as well. So I can't see the top one. There's another one over here. Uh, 
And then a four, fourth one, just here. That just goes off my page there a little bit. Boom, there you go. I think that's everything. Yeah, how to draw Naruto Sage six path mode. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.